people. This is Will from nextlevelguitar.com. David's behind the camera. David's behind the camera, San Diego, California. And Sammy's sleeping on the floor, keeping us company. Today we're gonna mix it up. Instead of showing you guitar, I brought one of my vintage amps over. We have a 60s, late 60s, tuck and roll, silver sparkle, custom amp. It's a transistor amp uh, made, made in Chanute, Kansas uh, in the late 60s. It's a combo, it's a 410, 100 watts, very loud. And we're gonna show you some of the features and go through some of the sounds of this amp. This amp is all transistor, it's a solid state amp, no tubes. It's one of the uh, earlier amps to be all solid state. Uh, I know solid state's probably a, a evil word for a lot of people, but they're actually very cool and uh, you can get some unique sounds with it. Custom, the vintage, Custom's making a big comeback now with, with a new product, but uh, their vintage stuff is known for nice, squishy, soft tuck and roll. That's what happens when you mix hot rods and music together. Um, this one is uh, Silver Sparkle. They had a lot of other different colors, blue, gold, uh, champagne, I think there was white, and a lot of black ones. Uh, this uh, vinyl holds up pretty well as long as you keep it away from cigarettes and it just melts and makes a huge mess. Custom made all sorts of different size amps, uh, heads and cabinets, and combos, uh, PA systems, all with this lovely tuck and roll on it. Um, they, uh, re in the late 90s, they reissued uh, some small practice amps that are tuck and roll. And I just happen to have one right here, which we'll talk about a little bit later. I'm going to take you through the controls of the amp. First we have the inputs, uh, high and low. That's a different, uh, it's kind of a tone filter. The, the high is a lot brighter. Uh, we have uh, volume, treble, it has a pull for bright, bass. We have speed and intensity for the tremolo vibrato. We have, in the middle here, we have a nice purple uh, Pilot Jewel. Uh, this is the uh, rotary switch for the uh, trem vibrato. We have the reverb. And then we have another channel over here. We have bass, treble, and volume for this channel. And then again, the high and low inputs. I have the foot switch for this amp, which allows you to switch on the reverb and uh, the vibrato. The amp has two channels. You have your effect channel, which is all your knobs from here to about here, and then you have a second clean channel on this side. Uh, the reason to have two different channels, I guess you could have an effect set up on one and use a foot switch to switch between the two, or uh, even if you had somebody uh, playing with you that didn't have an amp, you, you could plug into the other and have their own volume section. This is for channel, for channel two, we got the volume and the treble and the bass and then everything else is for channel one. Here's a tight shot of the covering of the amp. You can see it's squishy. There must be some foam over there. It's held up really well. Uh, it's a good 40 years old. You can see the silver sparkle. Um, you can see the nice uh, way the corners put together. They put some uh, effort into putting this together. Of course, these are American made, made in Kansas. Uh, we got the handle here. It's a kind of a neat detail for custom. Here's the back of the amp. You can see it's ported. Of course, it's a, a combo amp with four tens. You can see the silver sparkle tuck and roll. You can see we have the very long extension cord. I don't know how long this thing, must be 12 feet long. We have the on and off switch. We have a jack for an extension speaker. We have our foot switch jack. And then we have the uh, manufacturer's plate, just, which says custom Chanute, Kansas has the model K100 and a serial number. For contrast, I wanted to show you a reissue amp that I bought in the late 90s. Uh, it's uh, made in China, but it still has some of the same features that you would expect from a custom amp. You get the nice uh, charcoal sparkle tuck and roll, nice and squishy. You get the uh, traditional custom handle up here. Uh, not really a great sounding amp, but pretty neat to have sitting around. For, for controls, we have a button here that says harmonic clipper that adds distortion. We've got an input. We've got the clipper volume, which adjusts your distortion level. We've got a boost, a master volume, a headphone jack, 
and the pilot light, which is kind of a bluey, purpley, kind of similar to the original custom amp. This is a solid state amp made in China. Uh, it was a reissue. It has one six inch speaker. For this module, I'm playing through a mid 90s American made Paul Reed Smith that I stole from David's ample collection. Um, we're running straight from the guitar right into the amp, no effects in between. Let me take you through some of the sounds of this amp. through the uh, neck pickup now. Check out this effect. I'm going to add a little tremolo vibrato. Play a little bit. You can hear the amp has a nice, nice warm sound that you wouldn't really expect or what you wouldn't think from a transistor amp. joining us this is will from nextlevelguitar.com if you like this video be sure to hit the subscribe button the yellow button up there in the uh, right hand corner and also be sure to check out the website nextlevelguitar.com there's lots of great uh, lessons there and you can uh, bump up your uh, playing and uh, thanks a lot for joining us we're going to have a lot more vintage amps vintage guitars coming soon mm -hmm.